we're joined by uh, Leah Jones, our new signing here at Castleford Tigers. Leah, welcome to Castleford. Tell us about the move. Um, obviously, it's fantastic to be here. Um, fantastic move. Playing against Castleford last season, you know, they were pretty much the best team that we come up against all season. So being here is fantastic. Fantastic for me, personally. Um, you were at Bradford uh, last season. Uh, how come you decided to, to change things up? Um, so... Uh, in pre-season, I wasn't obviously able to uh, commit to Bradford um, probably as much as they uh, would have wanted me to. Um, obviously, when the team selection came around, I didn't make that selection. So, you know, wanting to still play this season, I started looking at other teams, contacted, obviously, um, Lindsay, and she was, you know, happy to give me a, a trial at training. Um, and here I am. Um, since, uh, obviously, Bradford uh, released, you've been playing here, at, you've been training here with Castleford. What have you made of the girls here and the, the team and the spirit and the atmosphere? Uh, yeah, fantastic. I mean, when you when you play against Castleford, you know, you always think, oh, Castleford. <laughs> I mean, because they're, they're so successful and, you know, they, they train hard, they, they work hard and, you know, they, they earn what they get. And, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to like people that are that good <laughs> at everything, pretty much. Um, so obviously coming in this season, it's you know been fantastic. The girls have been so welcoming. Everyone's been really really friendly. Um, you know it's made that transition so much easier. Um, and for me, you know it, it's a, it was a big step I think, and you know it's one that I definitely haven't regretted. So yeah, very happy. And here you are, and you've also have a, a glittering football career. Tell us about it. Oh, that was many many years ago. <laughs> obviously football in background from when I was younger um, only started playing rugby so three years ago um, so quite new to the sport yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's uh, that's absolutely incredible you, you mentioned you, you've had a, a long football career and now you've moved into rugby league how has it been adjusting to, to the sport um, I think the physical aspect of it has been brutal <laughs> obviously you, you used to really hard pre-seasons in football you do a lot of running um, but I think the, the contact element of rugby is just you can't even explain like expect it at all N way harder than I ever thought it would be I always thought you know rugby is just catching a ball I mean but definitely not <laughs> you've only had uh, two seasons at Bradford you managed to transfer yourself into one of the, the best in, in the business um, how do you look ahead going into this season joining Castleford do you think we can potentially target some silverware this season with you in the team now uh, yeah definitely I mean the I think they were very unlucky not to win it last year. Um, based on, obviously, performances throughout the season, I think they were the best team in the league. Um, and then, obviously, they were just unable to, to, to get that final um, push at the end of the season. Um, obviously, going forward this year, it would be fantastic to win some silverware. Um, with, obviously, the girls that are in the team, um, there is absolutely no reason why we shouldn't. <laughs> Sorry to keep uh, banging on about it, but I'd like to go back to your football career. I'm sure the fans won't be happy with me for doing that. Can you tell us about your, your footballing days? Um, yeah, uh, I played for Charlton Academy um, when I was younger. Um, went to college at the same time. Um, and then obviously when they folded, um, I went to Millwall. Had f uh, some successful seasons at Millwall. We finished quite high up in the league. Um, obviously back before the Super League was the Super League. Um, that makes me sound really old. <laughs> um, <coughs> I played obviously for um, Northern Ireland since I was 14 um, and obviously moved up. Um, but yeah, it was just, uh, it come to an end for me with football. I think I, I kind of lost the enjoyment for it um, and had spent a year out and then, you know, wanted to, to challenge myself. You know, I, I like to keep physically fit. So something that was going to find challenging, you know, something that was mentally stimulating as well for me. Um, so that's what brought me to rugby. One of my best friends um, used to play rugby union, so she was like, do you fancy going and giving rugby a go? I was like, yeah, but I'm not playing any of that union stuff because I don't understand it. Um, so, yeah, so obviously got into to rugby that way.